Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and of course a uh, little more information about what we call a cloud-based operating system. A lot of you have actually um, found it right because a lot of you have mentioned Chromebooks and a Chrome operating system on Chromebooks which is a cloud-based operating system. It's exactly that and when you uh, actually mention that you're totally right. Some of you have been asking for, um, you know, what uh, would, would you need a, a you know powerful computer to use something like that, and that's the thing about cloud-based operating systems. You don't need a lot of power. Same thing for the gaming. I've had a couple of questions from some saying, "Well, our gaming, you know, st game streaming, is that going to require a lot of power?" Well, that's the thing. You know, today if you game on a PC, you need gaming hardware you need a good graphics adapter you need uh, to have a machine that's powerful enough to run the games and sometimes you need a really powerful machine to run some of the games today game streaming removes the strain from your PC it all happens in the cloud where the game streaming happens all you have is a control in the view it's kind of looking at a video you're actually streaming the gameplay from a website, from the cloud. So you don't, re you don't really need a lot of computing power for that. Even a basic PC will do it, and you'll be able to game some, play some of the you know, uh, heaviest uh, games in terms of uh, what they require in hardware to actually work on a basic PC because it just doesn't take a lot of power on your, your end. Where a lot of you have got it right, and I did mention it a little bit on the last video about cloud um, operating systems and and you know streaming game streaming, is the fact that the internet is the biggest problem for a lot of people for that. Um, a lot of you have limited internet connectivity. Uh, you have data caps, so you can't you know um, use, for example, game streaming particularly would be a pretty heavy user of bandwidth on the internet. So if you have data caps, game streaming is kind of out of the question for you. As for the cloud operating system itself, you the data cap is not too much of a problem because it's not the same thing. It doesn't require that much to actually uh, use the uh, online cloud operating system. It's really for things like game streaming that it would be a, a, a major issue. And a perfect example is, uh, you know, there's uh, Office Online. It's cloud-based Office that you use, actually. And the apps work. They work in your browser, and they work in pretty much any browser that's compatible, which is nice. And once again, this opens the door to using software and using or playing games without having to necessarily be in a specific operating system you'd be able to game stream on an Android tablet if you want because it is not the operating system itself that now is important. It's really if you can just access the web and access the cloud versions of these apps. It's as simple as that. And uh, a couple of you have been asking, well, why would they want to do that? Well, they want to do that because, of course, one of the aspects of this is it gives them more control over what's happening. And honestly, if you have a good internet connection and your computer is just really at its basics to actually access all of that, well, what's actually interesting here is that um, it probably removes some of the technical glitches and problems that you might have on a um, computer that runs its own games and uh, operating systems at the same time. So, you know, there's advantages, but obviously... A lot of people also like the fact that they download and have their own software on their computer and you can run offline because that is also the biggest problem with cloud-based OS. If you're offline, you're now limited to not doing much with that same computer. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.